Whale watching tours takes a group of 21 people at a time. The company's revenue is $80 per adult and $60 per child. If the company's revenue for one group consisted consisting of adults and children. So I know I have two variables here, adults and children. Was $1,440. How many people in the group were children? Okay, so I know that they take 21 people in one group. So I'm going to let x equal the number of children. And I'm going to let y equal the number of adults. So this actually has to do more with system of equations, but it's good practice for both. So x plus y, right? The number of kids plus the number of adults is equal to 21. I know that. And I also know that the company's revenue is $80 per adult. So, oh, sorry, $80 per adult and um, $60 per child. So here's my child. If I want to find the total revenue of basically how many children there are, all I'm going to do is 60 times the number of children. Plus, if I want to find the total amount of the adults, all I'm going to do is 80 times the number of adults, right? Because it's per adult. And that's going to give me my total revenue. I know that the total revenue is $1,440 right? So now I have a system of equations here. So what I'm going to do is basically multiply both sides of the equation by 80 in this scenario. Multiply this times 80. I'm going to get 80x plus 80y is equal to 21 times 80 is equal to 1,680. And I'm going to rewrite this down below. So I have 60x plus 80y is equal to 1,440. So I have a system of equations in this scenario. So what I'm going to do is subtract. So I multiplied it by 80 so I can get rid of basically cancel out some variable here, right? So if I subtract this, I'm going to be left with 20x, 80 minus 80y, 80y minus 80y, sorry, is just zero, right? So I'm left with 20x is equal to, if I subtract this, I get 240. If I divide by 20, I get x, is equal to 12. So my answer is C. So again, I the reason why I multiplied by 80 is because what am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find the number of children, which is X. I was trying to find X. So to find X, I just wanted to really, the fastest way to cancel out Y, right? So that's why we multiplied this by 80.